Alright, here we are with our third video. Uh, Same Mario Warriors 5. This is again Crush Wax 1984 with Crush Wax Plays. We're going to be doing some Citadel mode. Hopefully, my audio levels and um, everything's doing a little better. I think I had to tinker with my noise gate. That was the thing uh, last uh, modified. Alright, so Citadel mode. I got some new things to do in Citadel mode, but we'll... Uh, probably gonna do lower level stuff. I'm gonna figure out how to deal with these horse things later. Um, Rick. We'll see. Okay. So I think what we want to do... Yeah, see, I got these two new things over here at uh, this level, but we're gonna go... Back a minute. Let's, go. Let's see, who do we want to play? Oh, I see. Each one's a separate choice. Okay. But they're the same character. You know what? Um, yeah, let's play as... We're going to start off with uh, Kachi. It's a Yippee Day. Just got a couple more skills to grab for him. Let me see if we got something. Thought I had at least. Really, our best choice here is this. I think. I really need to go through each category and, like, build up a, a, a good weapon for leveling for each category. Uh, here we go, let's go. Oh yeah, I'm using the blade and matchlock with him still. Okay. Forgot about that.
Honda should be a beast, but because this is a two-star thing, he's not anywhere near as powerful. Honda's like the same way Warriors version of uh, Bubu in many ways. Not in uh, demeanor, per se, or uh, like character development, if you will, but like the fact that he is just a juggernaut, right? Honda's peak warrior in much the way that Lubu is presented as peak warrior. There we go. Yeah, all right. That's a good way to start. Yeah, he, he is like, uh, Akechi here is like the second main character in this game. Like, it's Oda and Akechi that got the story arcs in this game. Because instead of trying to, like, instead of, like, the previous Samurai Warriors where they try to tell the story of the entire, um, Sengoku period, they really focus on Nobunaga. And then, as a side to that, they focus on, uh, Mitsuhide Akechi here, who was the individual that, um, uh, that kills Nobunaga, right? Let's go ahead and upgrade the stables. But, uh, you know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna show a couple different people on the same stage today, right? So we're gonna play... Let's do Kenshin... Shingen... spent it all. Oh. Okay. 
It should be a Tempest, but we got a better weapon. Spear. Did I... Yeah, I need to I need to work on that. I gotta do some blacksmithing later. Alright, let's see what Kenshin can do. Not nearly as well developed as uh Kachi or Nobunaga. Oh, I was gonna change up my armies. Oh, it's the, the actual the objectives actually change through playthroughs. Okay. The more that I play Citadel, the more the more I like it. I think I like it more than the old like uh, free mode where you just replay a scenario uh, outside of the story. Like it's you play a story mode scenario, but like outside of the story mode, right? Is what free mode is. Um, but I think I really I think I really like the the addition of the Citadel mode. I'm not doing as well with him, but he's not at the same level. He's not at the same performance point as uh, Akechi. Still looking pretty good, though. I'm pretty sure I'll get a... What, B ranking, I think? Usually these two are uh, enemies. It's fun to use them together, though. Oh, just a straight up time elimination. All right.
Oh, yeah, okay, now we're up to A, even. Doing better than I thought I was going to do. Switch over to Kenshin. There we go. Noble victory. Oh, even with them, I got an S rank. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. Got what? Three of them at five? So far. No, okay, four. So we're doing pretty good. Um. Alright, let me go ahead. Yeah, I know, this isn't as, you know. Show you what she can do. Let's play with. Or they can partner together. We're going to play as both of them. Um, serves. Some training, acquire skills. What do we got? 20. She doesn't have anything, so let's go ahead and get two of hers. I'll play. I'll have to play some stuff later. Okay, so I got some things I want to do off stream later. Get my weapon situated better. Back. Earth. Let's see what these two can do together. It's a little different playing as with the ball. Defeat the spy captain, and I'm, I'm right there to kill the spy captain. Perfect.
There we go. I really do like the random objectives and the random officers that show up, because it really gives a lot of variation. To, gives you a lot of replayability on these stages, so you don't feel like you're doing the same thing all the time. Alright, so this is Senna. This is supposed to be... Kokogawa's wife, while Null is Oda Nobunaga's wife. Ultimate skill objective is hard when you don't have that like refresh ability that you later get for it. But I think it, that might be an easier objective to get when you have like When you, have, when you have three offensive uh, ultimate skills, that would probably help. And I can't wait until I have almost like everyone maxed out and shit. Is he coming at me with a warhammer? Yeah, he is. Ooh, he. Switch back to her.
time here to get him down. There we go. Alright, cool, I got him. I think that'll be our three plays uh, through for today. Feeling pretty good with this, even with the characters I don't have built up. But yeah, I'm gonna have to spend a little time getting weapons together and some, some other... other things done. Yeah, yeah, I got Sean. I can see how I got an A on there instead of an S. Cool. Alright. Alright. I think that went fairly well. Me. Alright, so that was our three scenarios today. We played a couple different characters to show, uh, you know, some of the other characters in the game. And I'm probably going to do a little more of that, kind of like character spotlight, or I might play the same stage a few times with the different characters to show them off for the next couple of videos. Um, today we're playing the regular uh, version of Breaking Kyoto, which I have on YouTube. Uh, it will eventually be, should eventually be uploaded on Spotify, but I haven't quite got that all sorted out. Some of my music is now on Spotify under Crush Wax 1984, so if you want to give that a listen, it's up there as well as on YouTube. Uh, and of course, again, this is Crush Wax 1984 with Crush Wax Plays. I hope you enjoyed uh, me showing off a few other characters today. And um, in a day or two, I'll, uh, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to try to get... Uh, you know, at least three videos up this week. Um, that's the plan for right now. So, uh, look forward to that. <laughs>